Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Miran Kirakosian. Today's ballroom step is gonna be the in place basics. I'm gonna have Elisa show it to you with music first, and then she'll break it down. Hey guys, Elisa here, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the basic step of the cha-cha-cha. Now, there's a, there are a couple basic steps, which are the actual basics, uh, New York, spa turn, and hand to hand. Um, the actual basic step is broken down into two different steps, which is in place basics and front and back basics. Today, specifically, we're going to be working on the in place basics. But before we get into the actual tutorial, I do want to briefly uh, explain how we do count cha-cha and how um, the counts work. So basically we have three full counts and we have two half beats, okay? So the counts go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Or one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, one, which your cha-cha is basically your four and. Now your three full beats are your one, two, three, and then your half beats are your four and or cha-cha. So again, that would be one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. Now, your strongest or your sharpest counts in cha-cha are your one and your three. Um, so you definitely want to emphasize those in your dancing. Let's first kind of work on our um, weight transfer. So let's, let's, start, let's start off with doing this. So you're going to bring your, heel, your right heel up, okay? But your heels are always going to be touching, okay? You're never going to be separate like this. So your heels are always gonna be touching and you're gonna kind of form a V shape, kind of like that, with your feet, okay? So toes are always out, never in. So from here, you wanna straighten your left and bend your right, okay? Heels are together, uh, toes are pointed out. From here, you wanna switch onto the other side. Boom, here, okay? Basically what I did, if we go back, Basically what I did is I just bent my left and then straightened my right. But my heels are still together, my toes are still pointed out. That doesn't change, okay? Now, go back to this side and here and here, okay? So this is basically your weight transfer. You're going from right to left to right to left, okay? One knee Whichever one, is, whichever one your weight is on is always straight. In this case, it's my left, and my right is bent. And when I switch, now my right is straight and my left is bent. Again, heels are together, toes are pointed out. Now, from here, let's get into some hips. You want, when you, when you um, transfer your weight and your heel is down, in this case, it's my right, my hip goes back. Okay, goes back, when I mean back, I mean actually back. But your shoulders do not go with your hips. So you, your frame and your posture still stays forward. So if you notice, I'm gonna keep my hands to the side. My shoulders stay, but my hip goes back. So you wanna do this twist action, okay? So twist, twist, and twist, okay? So first thing you want to do is just bring your, bring your heel up, one, and switch, switch, and switch, boom. Let's add the hip, hip goes back, switch, left hip goes back, shoulder stay, switch, right hip goes back, and left hip goes back. So what you want to feel with your body when you're doing the hip action is kind of like an opposite pull. Okay, so if I turn around, my hip is going back, but this is staying. It's not necessarily coming forward. It's staying in its place, but my hip is going back. So you should feel this kind of opposite um, 
you should feel like this opposite attraction with your hip and your shoulder or your lats right here, okay? So let's go over that one more time and then we can move on. And left heel comes up and right hip goes back and switch and switch and switch, 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 switch. Let's get on to the actual in place basic. So what you want to do, your heel is going to come up on the count three. So it's going to go one, two, three. Okay, one more and one, two, three. Now, what I'm going to do is called a chasse and I'm taking my, I'm sliding my leg to the side. I'm transferring my weight. I'm bringing, I'm sliding my toes on the ground. I'm bringing it next to my heel. I'm switching, sliding again, and bringing my leg in again. Let's do that one more time. Your counts for that are gonna be one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, put your heel down. Once your heel goes down, your, your hip is gonna do the figure eight. Um, if you want a full tutorial on that, the link is in the description box. Um, but if you're familiar with it, let's move on. Your, hip goes, uh, your heel goes down, your hip is basically gonna do the figure eight. It's, it's gonna do half, so half, boom. So which, what I mean by that is, gonna, is it's gonna go to the left diagonal, it's gonna go around. Now once it goes around, once you squeeze here and it goes around, your leg comes in, switch, okay? You, bring your, you move your hip here too, so it's gonna go right, okay? And it's in the back. And to the side, again, it's gonna do half an eight and come here, okay? One more time, ready? And one, two, three, four, put your heel down, and switch one. So as you can see, I'm making that switch pretty smooth. When I, when I slow it down, it does look a little choppy. So just watch, one, two, three, four, and one. However, when you do it fast, um, you should get in the action of making it smooth. What it should look like is one, two, three, four, and one, okay? One more time, ready? And one, two, three, four, so hip, four, and one. And then what you're gonna do is the same thing, but you're gonna switch, you're gonna do your switches, and two. Now this is your two, okay, and three. Same thing to the right. Four, put my heel down. This one comes up. I do my figure eight. I come here and my hip goes back. I take my leg, I slide it on the ground. I put it down, I do my figure eight and I come here. Okay, one more time. And one, two, three, four and switch one and switch right away. Okay, so this is your two. So once I say four and one, you know two's coming next, and you have to bring your left heel up, and switch, and switch, four, hip, and one, hip, again, two. Right is up, three, four, and one, and two, three, four down, figure eight, collect. When you, when you bring your leg in and you collect, you don't wanna uh, do a pause here because you have to keep moving, okay? Especially because cha-cha is a little bit on the faster side, so you don't wanna slow yourself down, okay? So when you come here, what I do is I, 
I'm on the ball of my, of my foot and I want to push myself to the other side. So if I'm here, I did ba, ba, four, and when I come here, I want to push down on the ground so I can help myself come here. Okay, and what happens is your hip goes there as well. So hip, it's like a little prep for it to do the figure eight. And come here to switch and switch. Four, and again, push, push and go. Okay, one more time, let's do that slow, ready? And three, four, I do my figure eight on my left side. I bring my right leg. When I push, okay, I do add a little bit of a hip. So I push, I, I basically complete the eight. I just did it on my left. I come here, I'm gonna do it on my right. Right, and push again on my left. So as you can see, this is all very continuous. The, the middle step, which is the four and one, is all figure eights. Okay, so if I were just to do this step, it would be step figure eight, collect figure eight, step figure eight, and then switch, hip goes back, switch, hip goes back, step figure eight, collect, continue your figure eight, step figure eight, switch, hip goes back, switch, hip goes back, okay? So when you're doing your switches, your hip, you want your hip to be back, of course, shoulders are in front, I'm facing the front. Okay, and when you're doing your step to the side, which is the four and one, you want your hip to be continuously moving in a figure eight motion, which is this. Full tutorial is in the description box. Let's do it slow one more time, and then we can speed it up and then try it with the music, okay? Ready? And two, three, heels are together, toes are pointed out, and step four, bring it in, hip one, okay? Don't forget to push off your leg. That will help you a lot. And continue, and two, switch, three, switch, four, hip one. So as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of digging into the ground with my toes. And the position my toes are in, I'm half point, okay? So again, I'm, my pressure is, I wanna say, mainly on my big toe, okay? So you don't wanna be here, but you wanna be mainly on your big toe. Like, if you can tell, my, my foot is um, slanted a little bit, okay? So, let's go from here, and two, three, leg slides out on the ground. I bring it in, I push down, I continue my eight, and I step, okay? Now, make sure when you're doing your eights, you don't leave it kind of hanging. You want to finish it fully and then continue on to switching and switching. And if you can tell, um, I switch on the opposite side. So I step, I bring it in, I continue, I step, I bring in my leg. Okay, now instead of um, keeping this leg here, I'm going to switch to the left and then to the right. Leg, you always want to slide your leg. You never want to pick up your leg off the ground, okay? The key, um, the key to making ballroom or Latin look very smooth is always sliding your toes on the ground. So I slide, I transfer my weight, I slide this, my left one in, I do my eight at the same time. So your hip is gonna help you slide your foot in. Okay, so from here, if I'm stepping, I step, Okay, my hip's gonna go and my foot's gonna come in. So, boom, and push. So as you can see, this really helps my hip twist so I can do my eight again, and switch. Hip is in the back. Hip is in the back. Step, and step. And two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. All right, guys, let's try the same thing um, a little faster, and then we can go ahead and try it with music. Ready? I'll count you guys in. And one, 
two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, switch, switch, four and one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three, four and one. Now, when you put your foot down on your four, on your four you want to make sure that your heel is down. Okay, so you did two, three, four. Okay, I'm kind of transferring my weight really, really quickly. So I'm going three, four, and one. Again, transferring my weight. And two, three, four, and one. And what you want to do um, anytime you step on your four is point your other leg, bring it in, and keep that pointed. Okay? Ba, ba, point, point. Ready, guys? Let's try that one more time. And two, three, four, and one. And switch, switch, four, and one. And switch, switch, four, and one. And two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, four, and one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try out with music. Let's go half speed first. Let's, let's go slow first, and then we can go ahead and go full speed. Ready? I'll count you guys in, okay? One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want to see more ballroom steps, leave your comments in the comment box. Also, if you want to follow Lisa on all her other social media platforms, you can see it below. If this is your first time on the channel, you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe, tell a friend about it. You can also follow me on all my other social media pages as well, you can see them below. I do put different content out there, so make sure to follow me there. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video.